I thought I would give some updates about my free Sinatra Imperial. Um, some updates. Uh, the fan has been replaced. I, I replaced the blower, I should say. And it works beautifully now. And I also replaced the radio with the original uh, radio from the car, which is an AM FM cassette. Now they also offered a digital cassette as well. Uh, however, uh, this one was offered in 81 with the Sinatra. Um, I have the digital version, uh, but this one's much less problematic. So I put this one in for now. Also didn't require any rebuilding or anything. So, um, but I do have the other one. Eventually I'll get it redone and put it in, but uh, this one, what's great is it actually just works. And uh, so I just plugged it in. I displaced the wiring because there was an aftermarket radio in here. Um, I also repaired the light above the radio, which is supposed to come on when you get in the car. And it lights up the Sinatra console. Uh, the other the big thing I did inside was replacing the cluster. Uh, this cluster cost me, I think, 50 or $60, and it only has 65,000 miles on it. Uh, it came from a junked Sinatra Imperial as well. Um, the old one that was in here was flickering and all sorts of stuff, uh, so it wasn't going too well. So um, it's been now replaced, and I cleaned the glass on it uh, and got some of the scratches out of the glass and all that kind of thing, so it's now perfectly clear. Uh, some other things, interesting things I did is I replaced the dome light. Um, I repaired all the bulbs, or replaced all the bulbs all the way around. So the interior is now lit up completely. Um, all the buttons work. You can go over to metric, etc. cetera. Um, some other interesting things uh, that are coming up. I'm gonna replace the gear shift knob. I have one that's not rusted out. Um, I've cleaned the inside pretty well uh, for a free car. It looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to eventually get a handle for here for the door. And the back looks pretty good. I did some leather treatment on it, and it's a little softer now. I have to get the front bottom parts of the seats recovered, uh, sadly, and also the headliner, obviously. Um, but I got all the dome light working. Dome lights working. Uh, the car is starting and does run. Uh, just that there is an issue with the fuel pump. Uh, it's not priming. There's nothing happening. It's probably dead. So I'm going to take it up and have the fuel pump replaced. I have a fuel pump coming in the mail. And hopefully that should fix it. When I have it running, it runs fine. Um, in fact, it starts right up. Uh, with starter fluid and gas poured down the throttle body and uh, it runs pretty good. Uh, the gas pedal is stuck, uh, so there may be an issue with the linkage. I have the panel for the fuses down right now. Um, but the brakes are going to have to be fixed as well as the gas pedal and the fuel pump. And I think it will be running and driving after that. Um, and obviously I fixed all these little things uh, inside. And also some things in the engine compartment, too. Uh, we'll step out here. There's the interior. And I put some towels over the inside for now. And here is the engine compartment. Still have to replace the belts. I have the belts. I did the radiator. Of course, there's a new battery inside. Um, I repaired some of the wiring here. One of the fusible links still has to be fixed on this one. Of course, uh, as you probably saw my 81, uh, the fusible link burned out on it. So um, have to be careful with all those dead shorts. I was able to tighten down the air cleaner top as well as route the wiring correctly across the air cleaner. Um, the headlight door motor, I actually got to work. Um, the motor itself will have to be replaced though, sadly. Um, the motor itself will have to be replaced as I just mentioned. Uh, which I have one, thankfully. 
um, just a matter of putting it in. Um, the automatic shutdown module, all that um, is working. I replaced the relay here with a new relay. Um, well, new to this car at least. And uh, I added a ground to the shutdown module uh, because that was one of the issues with, with these. Um, and of course, a while back, I did the hood ornament, uh, which was fun. Got that on there. And um, so I'm hoping to have this thing running and driving probably in about a month or so. Um, a lot of cleaning had to go into this. Um, lots of leaves, lots of junk. Some animal left walnuts everywhere. Um, I even cleaned up in the little air intake up there for the fan and lots of leaves up there. And uh, it was pretty nasty stuff, uh, pretty nasty business. Um, I also replaced the center caps with the red ones. And of course the power antenna works now because I have the original radio plugged into it. Take a look in the passenger side. As you can see, it looks pretty good in there, pretty clean. Um, there's the back with the leather that I just conditioned. And uh, it doesn't look too bad for a free car. Doors close nicely. Um, I'm gonna be fixing this uh, opera lamp here. It doesn't quite stay. Um, car started up today with some starter fluid. And I found an Imperial um, logo there, an emblem. So I put that on and the original plates are on. Uh, that's actually the original fuel pump. Uh, it still works. I'm gonna be matching that up to what's coming in the mail. Um, interesting system. But it should be a lot of fun once this thing's running. Uh, they were said to have run much better, actually, with the fuel injection than with the carburetor. Uh, so it should be pretty interesting. Of course, there's a lot of naysayers for the uh, for the fuel injection, but I'm only planning to drive this a few times a year at the most. So uh, due to the rarity of the car, I don't really want to take it out on the road too much because it is a Sinatra edition, uh, which is pretty cool. And um, you don't see them very many anymore. I forgot to mention, I also got new tires since I had it. Um, so it has all new white walls all the way around, which is nice. But yeah, a big thing was cleaning, lots and lots of cleaning. Uh, the um, It needed it badly. Uh, there was leaves and walnuts and leaves and cobwebs and all sorts of stuff. The car has been sitting since 1997, so it's a pretty long time. Um, but anyway, hopefully should be up and going. Uh, I'm gonna get the fuel tank cleaned out, the pump replaced, all the lines flushed out, the hoses replaced underneath um, the filters. And um, hopefully at that point, it should be running once again and running well. Um, it seems to run well. Uh, when I uh, uh, started up with the starter fluid, uh, as long as I can keep the starter fluid going in, it actually runs quite well. Um, surprisingly, um, considering it's been sitting for many, many, many years. Um, but once the gas pedal's fixed, uh, should be good to go. And uh, once that pump's fixed and the line's clear out and everything in the tank, um, should be also good to go. So pretty excited uh, to get it back on the road again. And um, hopefully it'll pass smog, that's another thing. Uh, but we'll, we'll wait till it gets there. I, I'm just uh, wanting to get it back running uh, so at least I can drive it around the driveway. Have a great day.